Thank you. We have a tendency to regard our lives in terms of past, present, and future, as though they were three separate and distinct phases. Our past, I grant you, is past. But what we're doing at present, right now, is certainly having a direct effect on our futures. If you don't like what you are doing with today, if you're not spending it constructively and enjoyably in a way that will contribute to a happier future, then stop and remember that by tomorrow, this day will be part of the past, and you'll be looking back with regret at having wasted it. The kind of person you are today, and what you do about it today, that is what is now shaping the life you will have in time to come. Your future is within you now. And if you don't like the look of it, now is the time to start changing it. The game of life can be compared in a way to the game of golf. I'm not much of a golf player myself, but this much I do know about it. That how the ball travels depends on how you grip that club and swing it to make the club head meet the ball. If the impact of the club is square and clean, the ball will travel straight. But if the club head meets the ball with a glancing blow so that it gives a spin in taking off, then you've sliced or hooked your shot, meaning that the ball's flight will deviate from a straight line and go to the right or left. And so it is with all the activities of human life. The angle of your approach to anything you do determines how things go. If you don't start working on that bad grip bad grip on life. If you don't get swinging the right way today, things are not going to be any different tomorrow. And since tomorrow is still part of your future, isn't this the time to start making it a better one? Where do you start? Let me suggest a way right after this word. Start the future you want by reviewing yesterday's mistakes. Don't get used to compromise or be discouraged by failure. In fact, failure can be a stepping stone to success if you make an effort to learn something from it. The late Charles Kettering, he invented the self-starter for automobiles, among other things, had a nice way of putting it. You must learn how to fail intelligently, he said. For failing is one of the greatest arts in the world. Once you have failed, analyze the problem and find out why because each failure is one step leading up to the cathedral of success. The only time you don't want to fail is the last time you try.